Police are searching for a person who escaped police custody at George Washington University Hospital. Ardelia Gonsalves just arrived to the hospital moments ago. She joins us now live. And Dee, you just got a new update from police? That's right, lots of activity. Police are now confirming that police here on the ground and in the air are looking for an escaped murder suspect who was in police custody here at GW Hospital. I'm going to step out of the shot here in the 900 block of New Hampshire Avenue so you can see the large scene that we are dealing with. There are several police officers here from numerous jurisdictions. So far I see MPD and the Secret Service. They are command unit from the Secret Service here as well as they try to find this person who were told escaped custody um, around 338. This man, we're told, is 31-year-old Christopher Haynes. He's described as a black man with shoulder-length dreadlocks wearing a white suit and one red shoe. He is not handcuffed. This is important information for folks to know. Uh, we're just getting a confirmation that the suspect, in fact, is 30 years old, but still, on, um, he is not in handcuffed, and this is a murder suspect that police are now confirming to us. We know that GW University is in a shelter in place. An alert was sent to students and staff members a short time ago telling them that there is a dangerous person on campus. Do not approach this person again. 30 year old Christopher Haynes escaped from custody here at GW Hospital. Police had him here questioning him in regards to a murder that happened in the district. They are asking for everyone to keep their eyes out, to be safe and to call 911 if they spot this suspect. That's the very latest here from Foggy Bottom. For now, we'll send it back to you. Hey, Dee, I know you're just getting this information in. Are they saying anything about what led up to this escape? Was there some sort of fight? Was there some sort of struggle? What do we know about that? Those details and those questions are still unanswered at this point. As you can imagine, Leslie, when we get breaking news, everything is so fluid. And so we know this bare information at this point. We don't know what led up to the escape, uh, how many officers were detaining him at the time. We do know he was not handcuffed, and that will likely be critical as they continue to investigate how this individual uh, got free and managed to escape. Again, one red shoe, a white suit, shoulder length dreadlocks. They are looking for this man. And of course, we will continue to stay on top of it and ask police those questions as they continue to investigate and hopefully find this murder suspect. And hopefully find him soon. Delia, thank you. Really important information that you shared with us, especially for those in the GW community who may be watching now and watching closely.